This is Andy with Condi Technical Support. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to install your Ricoh GX7000 as a network printer. The first step is to install a network card into the back of the printer. This is an optional accessory that you have to purchase, and it just installs into a port in the back of the printer. Very simple and straightforward. Once you have the network card installed into the back of the printer, it's time to program the printer. First thing we want to do is click on the menu key. Next we're going to air down to host interface and then hit enter. Next we're going to air down to network setup and hit enter. From here we're going to see network setup DHCP. We're going to hit enter and then arrow down to off and hit enter again. The display will go back to network setup DHCP. From there we want to hit the arrow down key one time. The display will say network setup IP address. Here we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to use the arrows up and down key to program each individual section of the IP address. The first number being 192. Once you have the 192 in, you'll hit enter, and then enter in 168, and then enter, and then the third number, and enter in the fourth, and so forth. Next, you're going to hit enter, and the display is going to go back to network setup IP address. We're going to hit arrow down until we get to subnet mask. Then we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to program this much the same way. We need to program this in at 255-255-2550. The easiest way to get here would be to hit the arrow down and enter key on each number, hitting enter past the zero. The display will go back to subnet mask. And at this point, we want to hit the online key. Now your printer is configured and on the network and ready to go. Now that we have our printer configured, it's time to install the driver first thing we want to do is go to condi.com and then go to the support page. From here we're going to click on log on to log into PartnerNet. You're going to enter your PartnerNet username and password and hit log in. Then from here we're going to click on the link that says click here to continue to the support members area. And then on to Rico support. Here we need to locate the proper driver. We're going to look down through the list for the GX7000 driver. Now if you have a 64-bit operating system, you'll have to download the 64-bit driver. We're going to install this on Vista 32-bit, so we're going to download the 32-bit driver. We're going to click on the download link and save this file to our desktop. It really doesn't matter where you download it to as long as you know how to find the file. Now that we have our driver downloaded, we're going to find it on our desktop and we're going to run it. First it's going to extract files and then it's going to bring you to a license agreement. You have to accept the license agreement and hit next. Then here it's going to ask you how we're connecting. We're going to select connected via LAN and hit next. Here we're going to tell it to add a new print driver or connect a printer without USB. At this point you want to click on the plus beside the name. It's going to ask you if you want to set this as your default printer. You can leave it checked to set it as default or you can uncheck it. Next we're going to select port and hit add. We're going to come down and select standard TCP IP port and click OK. And then on this new wizard that pops up we're going to hit next. We're going to type in the IP address that we programmed on the printer and hit next. Once it finds the printer just click finish and then hit continue. It's going to copy files Install the driver and the printer to your computer. It's going to bring us to the status monitor screen. Just click next and then select no restart later and hit finish. Next we're going to install the ICC profile. To obtain a copy of the ICC profile simply send an email to support at condi.com requesting an ICC profile. Once you have this profile simply open your email and download the attached file GX7000 die trans high quality. Again we're going to save this to the desktop just so that we can find it. Once 
once the file is downloaded, close your email, right click on the profile and select install profile and the profile is installed. Next it's time to configure our printer. We're going to go into control panel and then to into printers. On Windows 7 this is going to be devices and printers and on Windows XP it's simply going to be printers and faxes. Here we're going to locate the gel printer. We're going to click it one time to highlight it. And then we're going to right click and go to properties. On Windows 7 this will be printer properties. First we're going to move over to the advanced tab. We're going to select start printing after last page is spooled and then move on to color management. We're going to click on the color management button. On the pull down at the top we're going to select the gel sprinter GX7000. Then we're going to check the box that says use my settings for this device. Set the profile selection to manual and click the add button. Next we're going to look down through this list until we find GX7000 Ditrans High Quality ICM. We're going to select it and hit OK. Then we're going to click close and OK. Next we're going to right click on the printer again and this time go to Printing Preferences. When this opens we're going to come to the Printer Configuration tab and uncheck the box that says Auto Reduce. We're going to set Spool Format to RAW. Now on a Windows 64-bit driver you will not see this pull down. On the Setup tab we're going to set the paper type to Inkjet Plain Paper, select User Settings and hit Change. We're going to check Use Air Diffusion, set Color Profile to Off, and then click on the Miscellaneous tab and put a check in Print as Bitmap. We're going to click OK, and then we're going to click the Save button just below Custom Settings and type in Condi ICC. And click OK. You'll notice Custom Settings now says Condi ICC. Just click Apply and OK. Now you're configured and ready to print. The only thing you have left to do is to configure whichever application you're going to be printing from. Check out our other great videos here at Conditv.com. Or if you have any problems or questions, you can give us a call at 1-800-826-6332. Simply choose 2 for tech support. Or send us an email to support at Condi.com.